All right, try solving this. And don't reach for your calculator, try doing it in your head. All right, let me show you one way that we can solve this. So we have 398 plus 112. Now I know that 398 is really close to 400, so I'm just going to round it up. Now 400 plus 112, that's pretty easy, that's 512. But now we have to subtract the two that we added in, so our answer is 510. And that's what we call mental math, the kind of math that shows up in the real world. But unfortunately, most schools treat it like a side quest. It gets a unit, maybe two, and then kids are given a calculator. And of course they're going to use it. It's so much easier, it's faster. It requires zero actual thinking. But here's the catch. When kids don't get a chance to work with numbers, to experiment with them, break them down, they don't develop a strong number sense. And so they might do fine on a test, but when it comes to the real world, they may get stuck when the math doesn't line up for them perfectly like trying to calculate a 15% tip at a restaurant. And so mental math isn't about speed or showing off. It's just about feeling confident and comfortable with the numbers that we're working with. And that is exactly what we focus on. 